This is Josh Friedman, the nomadic journalist overlooking the city of Fez, Morocco. From this vantage point, perched on a hilltop, which used to be home, from what I understand, to the Moroccan king or a Moroccan king, well, the city of Fez looks very spread out. It looks like a vast city that sprawls all across this region of northern Morocco. I'll give you some glimpse of that and of the view from up on this hill. However, if you venture down into the old Medina here, it's fairly well known Medina, it's the biggest old city in Morocco and I believe one of the biggest medinas in the world. Well, there are very tight corridors, narrow streets, everything is very jam-packed. It doesn't feel like you're in a city with a bunch of sprawl and it doesn't feel like you're in this this urban, this vast urban area. Everything feels tight and cramped and that's just a matter of different vantage points. And I'm going to tie this into journalism because in journalism, at least in theory or in my case in practice, I seek out different perspectives, different vantage points, sometimes physical vantage points. So, for instance, I've covered some mass protests and based on the different angle you have, whether you're down below or perched above like I've been, actually I've, I've been perched above mass protests in Skopje, Macedonia, I've been down in the trenches as well, also in uh, Romania. Well anyway, if from different vantage points, different angles, there could be pictures that are totally different. You, might estimate from one angle that there are 5,000 protesters. From another angle, you might estimate 50,000 or 500,000. This came up a year ago when Donald Trump was being inaugurated U.S. president. There were different stories with conflicting crowd sizes, and that had largely to do with political biases and agendas. And this applies to far more than than just the crowd size at a Trump gathering or inauguration. In pretty much every news story, there are all kinds of different angles and perspectives in which you can approach that story. Sometimes within a story, there are all kinds of different angles to a single paragraph or a single sentence. And many different journalists and their their publications often get exposed as slanting in one direction or another because of their focus on a certain perspective or certain perspectives and in turn they're ignoring other perspectives or other vantage points. Now I acknowledge that like everyone else there I have my, my biases, my own beliefs, I'm libertarian in terms of my political politics and worldview, but a large part of what I try to do as a nomadic journalist is to show you, the viewer and the audience, a whole variety of perspectives. So I seek out different vantage points physically, but I also seek out different vantage points in terms of perspectives across political leanings, perspectives based on uh, geography, culture, ethnicity, all these different things that go into different shaping different people's beliefs and perspectives. And one of the things I like to do as an exercise to give examples of all the different perspectives and vantage points that appear in the news are to compare how different state news agencies cover certain stories. So for instance, comparing how the BBC, which isn't, it's not entirely a state news agency, but you know, it's, it's got government funding. So compare how the BBC covers something to, so I'll pick English language, to Press TV of Iran or RT of Russia and so on and so forth. I mean, you can throw an American mainstream media in 
as well, even though they're not technically state-run. Nonetheless, you'll have one story about any issue and completely different coverage. Coverage coming from completely different angles. And for the for the trained eye, it's very easy to spot. One would know that, okay, the Iranian government has a much different perspective on this issue than the British government and the Russian government and, and so on and so forth. Well, as a nomadic journalist, I love to share, regardless of whether I agree with them or not, I, I like to share what is the the Iranian government slant on a certain issue? What is the Russian government slant on a certain issue? What is the slant coming out of London or Washington and, and so on and so forth? And sometimes there are a whole bunch of slants within one place. Like, you know, obviously in the US you have the Democrats and the Republicans and and the media and the mainstream to some extent reflects that. And in the UK it's, it's fairly similar with labor and conservatives and Certain media, for instance, the tabloids lean a little more to the right, and other major publications, the Guardian, for instance, leading toward the left. And I just think that there is value in sharing all these different perspectives and vantage points. Traditionally, in journalism, you're taught to, to keep your own biases out of the story and to give these different perspectives and let the, the reader or the viewer decide for him or herself. And that's kind of going out the window nowadays with all the digital media that's out there and the rush to print and, and all these different phenomena. But even though I have my own views, I still see value in sharing them. And now particularly as it relates to me being a nomadic journalist, because why do we travel? Well, one of the biggest reasons why anyone travels is to experience different cultures, to get a, an understanding of how different people live, what makes them tick, what do they believe, and to travel around the world and, and really get an understanding for our fellow human beings across, across all kinds of different lines, racial lines, ethnic lines, religious lines, crossing all these different boundaries and understanding different points of view, different worldviews across the world. And if I'm approaching journalism as a nomad, well then that's a big part of it. A big part of my reporting and my journalism is to share others' perspectives, to give you all kinds of different vantage points rather than just my own. That's something that I've been trying to focus on over the past several years. There have been changes in my reporting and style of journalism and approach to journalism. But as a nomadic journalist, I really want to give you a variety of vantage points, a variety of perspectives. I believe, particularly from my own travels, that there's value in that. And I think you are getting value from that as well. So from a lovely vantage point perched above Fez, Morocco. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you do find any value in this perspective, then please share this video, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel. And shukran, and goodbye from Fez.